Next up on WTV, a look into athletic fees, the Frisco Bubble Boys, My Life As, and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Thursday, August 22nd, and I'm Kyle Strickland with today's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. With the state providing more funding for public schools and residents voting yes in last year's tax ratification election, some families will see their expenses go down this year. WTV's Walker Shippey has the details. Implemented for the 2018-2019 school year, the athletics fee of $200 for high school students and $100 for middle school students is being suspended as the district reviews student fees collected for athletics. For some families with multiple children playing sports, it's a significant savings. I have four students, um, one at Liberty and uh, three at Vandevender. So um, I, we've had no impact because of the, the fee. It, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been no impact to, to us. Yeah, I think every family situation is different. So for some families, it's probably helped with the elimination of that, especially I think with families that have more than, you know, more than one child with multiple um, kids, it probably does help in that situation. The district is reviewing the fees to ensure appropriateness for each program and consistency across campuses. The elimination of the athletic fee is a temporary change for the 2019-2020 school year. While the elimination of athletic fees will take an estimated $1.7 million from the district, the move could increase participation in campus athletics. Reporting from WTV, this is Walker Shibby. Podcasts are becoming more and more popular, as from 2017 to 2018, the number of Americans listening to podcasts on a weekly basis increased by 6 million. It is a trend that is also growing on campus. WTV's Alyssa Murphy has more. It began with three freshmen playing around in a classroom. I guess we were just like in Mr. Ham's classroom, and like he had like the, like the microphones and stuff, and like we and like pre-test or whatever, we'd go in there, we'd like put the headphones on and act like we were talking to each other, like through the headphones, and like study whatever the for the quiz or whatever. He, he took it more seriously than we did and we actually ended up starting the podcast. Called the Frisco Bubble Boys, it features Owen Wise, Ford Shippey, and producer Cooper Riggle. Now sophomores talking about their lives and living in Frisco. My view on education in general is that I want students to have different experiences, like beyond academics, beyond like extracurriculars. So like podcasting is like a new way for students to like have a voice and to express themselves. So I figured podcasting would be a great idea. So I fully, I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome that the Frisco Bubble Boys are doing their thing. So overall, it's just another experience for students to like go through to prepare them for, you know, life outside of high school. Their podcast is already doing that as they quickly discover there's no telling who's listening. My favorite part so far is like the people that I've, I like, so for example, there's driver's ed and there's, there's this girl coming up to me. She's like, you Frisco Bubble Boys? Your podcast is the funniest thing I've ever heard, and I don't know these people. It's really cool, like, to see when, like, people that you don't even know listen to it, and you're reaching like an audience that far. Reporting for WTV, I'm Alyssa Murphy. On the first edition of My Life As, WTV takes a look into the life of baritone player Vic Subramaniam during summer band practice. Usually we have to be in the band hall um, or like auditorium by eight o'clock. Either Mr. Weaver, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Elvis go over like what we do that day. And then um, we start on the turf field sometimes. We do a little warm up. After that, we go into like a stretching block with our color guard instructor. So after our dance block, we usually go into um, our fundamental block where we just do like basic exercises which help us with our technique and stuff. That usually takes us to our lunch break. We stay at school, we eat lunch for about an hour, and then we go into our sectional rooms. We practice our stand tunes or show music, and then we get our dinner break. Then we can go home or go out to eat with our friends. So we come back at six o'clock. At this point, we go out to the parking lot. We go back again through a small warm up, usually visual fundamentals, and then we start talking the show. For me at least, whenever I have to go through my music and stuff, um, I see the music in trombone slide positions, then I have to put that into baritone fingerings, and that's really weird, but I mean, it sounds better as a whole, so I gotta do what I gotta do. Um, freshman year, it was really just the seniors dominating over everyone. As the years went on, it became like a little bit more evened out, and I think this year, um, it was much more like group participation to where everyone like interacted with each other. I think overall, we've gotten stronger visually at least. Finding dots and being able to march the show with all four grades 
it was much more even this year. WTV's Walker Shippy gives you a look into sports on today's Sports Minute. In preparation for the fall season, football has been practicing since the summer with multiple weeks of off-season and summer strength and conditioning. The team has a few new coaches, including new head coach, Matt Sweeney, who has been preparing the team for its first game since last year. Well, preparing for the first game actually goes all the way back to uh, the end of last season. So we had a uh, pretty strenuous boot camp, uh, multiple weeks of off-season, spring ball, summer strength and conditioning, uh, and now it's all about just polishing up and getting all those new coaches uh, um, in line with everything we're trying to do and moving forward. This first game takes place next Friday against North Garland at 7 p.m. at Memorial Stadium. Reporting for WTV Sports, this is Walker Shippey. If you're looking for more for Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. For any announcements, have your club sponsor email libertywingspanstaff at gmail.com. Liberty Esports first meeting will be on August 28th before school, advisory, and after school in room C243. The first DECA meeting will be held in room C242 during advisory on Tuesday, August 27th. The first Pulse meeting of the year will take place on Wednesday, August 28th during advisory in the lecture hall. That's it for today's daily update. This is Kyle Strickland for Wingspan TV.